So I think I have figured out how to open these things. Um, get these from a uh, battery hookup uh, on sale from eight to six dollars on Black Friday. And they are op Optune O P T U N E. Um, it is a model number is I B H nine one zero zero I B H ninety one hundred. And uh, from it looks like it looks like they are uh, some kind of um, goes into device. It's a um, some kind of it either shocks your brain or or it st stimulates it or something. It's for tumors, uh, brain tumors. This powers that device, and I just managed to get it opened up. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. Um, there is let's see, there's a. A bunch of screws in here let's see one two it takes a it's a small small star it's really tiny there's four on each side uh trying to figure out what it was um a p5 this is a p5 um if i can that's too small let's try a P6. This is I fix it thing kit. Um, I'm trying to figure out what it was. Um, uh, TR Torx something. TR7. It's black background. It's really hard to see than light. Um, a lot smaller than that. Uh, how about a uh, was it TR6? Like extremely difficult to see. It's like a black foam, and the writing in the foam is just cut down a little bit. Where it's written down, it's written down the foam. But uh, these are kind of stiff on here. Um, there's eight on each side. But you can get really tired hands by doing this. But they do come out pretty easily. Uh, I'm already quarter done. Your yeah, hands get really tired because they're pretty stiff in here. There's three of the of the eight. So that's what how's it fifty percent now. He's off. You this could be really tiny. You can already see it. Really tiny. Get this last four, and uh, these are really stiff. They are very difficult to, to uh, open. Um, as far as I know, they're a lot harder compared to you know like a, a laptop or a. Um, power to a battery because they just pop right off as soon as you take the screws up but these, you gotta kind of twist and turn a lot before they even move a budget at all um I was smashing them in the in the uh, thing in the door and the lift gate because the thing smashes them is that is that thing so uh they come out like that clamshell thing shape I'm not sure what they're called but uh I guess you just you kind of grab one side and then twist the head as hard as you can, and it, it kind of cracks and makes noises. Oh God! Um, I think I had to open the bottom part just a little bit to get in there. So I'm gonna do that. But yeah, these are real pain in the ass. Like that, snap it, twist it, bop it. And you gotta kind of push. And until it goes in, wiggle it in there, kind of crack it like that, kind of break the seal. I'm not supposed to break the connections there. And the uh, some kind of, I'm not sure if you just glue there or not, but yeah, you can, you can easily pull it open a little bit with your hands. That's probably the only way to do this. And now, see, it pops up on, on the top part. I think it did. Yeah, it does. See, and then I think you easiest way. It seems to be, it opens, looks like, from, it's like either side, probably the 
clockwise, like hold bottom and turn clockwise, it seems to crack open a little bit. But if you can get some kind of two people in here and put one hole in there, it's just it's so hard to um, to uh, get some stiff in, stiff in there and to hold it just without having three hands. Yeah, like that, and then I just twist it the other way. It should start to open that um, what do you call it? The seal on the other side. There we go. Yeah. Oh my God, these are these are difficult. I'm uh sweating kind of bad. I'm push down on on one side and turn it. It's kind of opening, but you need to still need to force it open. But I don't know why it's so hard. Um, you gotta fit with it a long time before it cracks open all the way. Um, but yeah, you need a. You need to. Uh, uh, there's no way to grab it. It's. It's so difficult. To. Uh, I think you should be able to. Crack. This and stick it in there. <sighs> Man, these are not easy. Like I said they're pain in the ass. I, I just I had no idea they can be so, so hard. Like you know, the freaking thing is open. Um, I came in. It's still difficult to uh, to pry open. But I guess. Um, <sighs> well, like it should come apart. Any time. Um, there's no way to open this thing. But yeah, you twist it enough and it starts to loosen up like that. Keep going back and forth. And this is what I haven't, I haven't opened these ones, ones yet, so I don't know what's in there. What's in there? <sighs> this is as far as I can go without tearing anything up. Um, I don't know. There's a board right there. Course. They're probably in a four by two by two configuration. Looks like has to be. Unless they're a three by three, which there are, there's eight in there, so that has to be four by four, so two by two. But I don't see any way to. It's hard to see. Definitely a four by four. Pretty sure that those uh yeah those are Panasonic cells the the uh, thirty four hundred milliamp hours. It's like, open a Christmas present, but from hell. Ugh. There's definitely glue on probably both these sides, so this is going to be a pain in the ass. Because, you know, it's never easy, you know. Um, maybe I can PCB attached to here, so there's probably, like, four connections attached to here. So you got to probably break all those connections to get this out. Uh, and then the battery is attached to this side, so it's holding from the glue here, the battery here, and it's holding this, this right here. So you gotta really prime this thing, and power going through here. So this this thing is like uh, that's the leads. So I hate to break them, but you know these are kind of f fun to just kind of try to see if you can repair them. But I guess you know for science, I suppose. I'll force it a bit more. And there's no way to stick anything in there without effing the cells up. Um, yeah, I'm pretty tired. <sighs> but these are freaking, like, in there. Really good. Um, I don't see, I'm trying to find the, it's hard to see if there's any glue. There's, yeah, there has to be glue there because this is like impossible to pull out. It's so I'm prone to getting hurt. So when I pull too hard, I easy break a break something or cut myself. But yeah, this is um, um, it's hard to put anything in there and pry it out because you can easily puncture those cells. Well, at least at least it's a possibility if you pry it. But you know, there's no way to. Stick it in there and pry it off. Um, some flat would be nice, but still, that that's gonna have a 
possible effect of snapping it off. Um, I can't really wiggle it in any other direction. Uh, it seems to be attached to the top. Can I pull this apart? It's trying to come out. Mm, man, it's pain in the ass. There's nowhere to take it apart without breaking something. Um, but it's pretty loose. Um, there's just no way to pry it out without damaging the cells. Um, I mean, normally it's not that big a deal when you're coming from the end. Um, and these are nice cells too, damn. Um, but man, it's just, it's just, man, these are just glued like crazy. You can't get your fin finger in this thing. It just hurts so bad. <clears throat> yeah, that just hurts. I don't know what to do, honestly. Um, I might go monkey strength. Oh, it's it's the tape's holding it. That's weird. The top of the tape has been taped over the batteries. And that tape's kind of attaching to this side. It's just, it's just in the tape right there. I don't know why it's doing that. I can't really see... I see the glue. They got it glued on both sides twice. I guess the the tapes the tape is um being stuck by the glue and the batteries aren't even attached on the on the side anymore. So what I could do is um get an, I'm gonna get a knife or I can get um get one of these and, and cut it from from in there. Puncture the uh there we go. See, the tape's holding it in there. And then, uh, that's right, the leads are, are holding it together, too. So, can I break this? I mean, I can break it. I, just, I really want to test these things before I s destroy them, you know? It's a shame. I mean, I got 20, I got 30, 32 of these things. Something like that. I wanted like 50 of them for about 5 kilowatts. But I got like half of them because every time I tried to buy them, it uh, it literally just kept selling through. But yeah, these are inside. Um, so they attach the... Uh, damn, that's... That is insanely strong. Whatever they used for this... This Kapton tape stays on this... Um, glue like it's like I can't even pull, well, I can pull I'm tearing the glue apart before it removes from the from the uh before it removes from itself I mean, that is um I mean that's really tight so yeah I didn't know the glue catches the tape really well and then here's the cell see it's just I guess it's just press fit no it's and there's the the board. The board's probably glued into. Um, I can't really see back there, but these are all the leads. They did a good job too. I mean, it's uh, you could almost unwrap it. Um, yeah, this is gonna be a pain in the ass to do. Um, either I can twist it this way, or twist it this way, and there's no way. To pull this apart with your bare hands, you need some sh strong, but kind of not a gift like kind of plastic. But plastic would probably even get in there and and bend it. I I just don't know what to do honestly. There's no way to, to safely do this. I can probably pull from this. That's not enough. I'm gonna tear the thing off. Um, I just don't know how to. Take it apart. <clears throat> it's not. It's not enough. Just in the tape being stretched. I pull, pull apart. Um, I don't know what else to, to really do. Honestly, that tools, but they can 
break the berries very easily. Um, a knife, that's not going to do anything. I can, can I twist it? No, it's just, it's so freaking strong. It's so solid. Ugh. Damn. Um, what if I try this not that, not that blunt? And then uh, stick it through here. Do this. I'm not able to just pull it out. Oh boy. The things you do. Oh. Okay, just turn the turn the tape up, yeah. Some damage to the I'm just trying to get it out. That's all I'm trying to do. But I don't see any other way to get in here and pry pry it. Minor damage to the cell. Well to the wrapping. Um the teeth are just so I stick it in there and pry it upward. A little bit. It's trying. <clears throat> and and damage to uh, minor damage to the wrapper. It's just it's just it's just there's no way. Um, I need a flat bar, a crowbar. Um, I have them somewhere, probably in a truck somewhere, and I can just lay the flat piece against this and just pry it off. There's there's just literally no other way. Um, I can probably cut these cells apart, but would that would that work? I mean, you still need to pry it off. I just don't know what else to to use. Um, honestly. I used these what I used on the uh, what I used on the uh, solar panels <laughs> it might work as long as you don't puncture anything so <sighs> and no damage damn these are not easy kind of shove them in there really good I just they're just not just too thick to get in down in there. So uh I don't know. You can probably cut these, honestly. Maybe a cut maybe cut um probably between the cell. You can be careful not to cut the cell. It's just a plastic cutter, Dremel, and just cut just along the middle of the cells which would be the middle of the um glue more than likely um to so separate this part would be easier to remove a small piece and then remove this piece between the cells and remove this piece um so that'd be probably easier i mean i can you could force it but but that would be really difficult um it might Come and let go. Just you gotta put some so much force into this. There's, there's no way to grab it. There's no way to stick anything in there and pry it up. It just it's so it's so tight. Um, I don't see anything I have that would pull it without breaking anything. And you can wiggle it all you want. It just it just won't budge. And it's the tape. If, if I can get the tape off, you might be able to get it off. I'd probably try that. Um, and I got cells. So one lead, two leads. So I guess the configuration would be a zigzag pattern like this. Or it could be that. Or it wouldn't be because it had to be uh, this way and down up again. So it's... Uh, uh, that's two, two by four long, and I just fold it in half and stuck it in there. So just fold it in half and just sandwich it in there. But they're just, they're so...
so tight. I can you can cut these the tape off, but there's no way to um, to pry it. There's no way to pry on this side either. You can't can be better to pry on the the end to be stronger stronger on the ends. But you can't really pry on the board. I'll break the board. Um, shit, that's gonna suck. Um, it goes that thing goes up to there, and it disconnects somewhere. And that just kind of pins on it. So the board, yeah, right there on the side, it's got it's attached to it. It's attached to it on the side below there, and you pull it off, and it, it pulled the whole thing apart. So it destroyed that. So I can't test that, but there's no way to pull the board out without cutting your hands on the side. I'm kind of sharp a little bit. Um, maybe I can pull the, pry the board out. There you go. That's the board. So yeah, there's a lot of crap on here. Like there's a, I guess moss that's on there and um, resistor, tiny resistors and a microchip. Um, not sure this this white stuff is is probably the glue. It's probably glue to hold, hold it in there like that. Which uh, yeah, that's what it is. They glued the side and just shoved it in there. I'm not sure how they aligned this back part, but yeah, there's a lot of crap on here. This trying to figure out where this would you know right here. There's a four the four pins mm, is attached to uh, here, and I guess it went. Distributed to the um, the balance leads right in the center. And it plugged into the right there, and it pulled it. I pulled it out. But that's this. So can I shove it? Yeah, <clears throat> man, it's 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 so tight. You can't pry on here. It's just you can't get a good grip. Um, your finger can only go back, go back so far, like this. You can't you can't get a good good grip on it. That's as far as you'll go, like this. And it's like that. You can't just can't grip it at all. Hurt your finger. <sighs> but maybe you can pry on the top part because you know they can get your finger in there. Um, but still, that still is gonna hurt. I hate, to, I hate to do this, but I don't know what else to do. And I, I can kind of get back there. Maybe. Just want to be careful. If I blow up, you know what happens. happens. I just hate damaging those. The the sheathing. The, the wrapper. Um, yeah, the balance leads go there. That's, that's a series. Huh. How many? There's a lot of there's a lot of balance leads there. There's just so many. So it'll be uh, one neutral, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight of them. So that's uh, eight. Yeah, that's uh, that's correct. Seven for each battery plus the negative on on the side. So every single one has a, a connection somewhere. So yeah, they monitor. Um, so this has to be uh, that'd be. Eight. That'd be no way. Yeah, eight. Uh, eight S. So eight times three two. Uh, oh, crap. Uh, so that's eight times twenty. Uh, twenty four could be. So it. Uh, eight times three point seven. 30 volts, so it's kind of odd voltage. It's not it's not 24. It's a little higher than that. So I guess it's probably a 24 motor volt motor in there. Um, 
well, actually, that would be low current. Um, I'm not sure why I need this to do, do those pads on, on the head. They put on the head. Uh, you know, I'm not a doctor, of course, but uh, they have some kind of... Uh, do they shock you or, or stimulate the, the brain or something? Because it's some, some kind of tumor or brain tumor thing device. It's very strange. I didn't even know if they even did that. Because, you know, it said, it said chemo. It said mission chemo. But how does chemo shock you? I have no idea. Um, 30 volts for chemo. And that's, that's, uh, that's 3,400. So that's 3.4 times, what, 3.7 that's 12, 12.6 um, times 8. Oh my god, that's 100 watt hours of energy. That, that's insane. That's uh, 3.7 times 3.4 times 8. Yeah, that's 100 watt hours. That's a lot of power. So why the hell would you need 100 watt hours in just one pack? Why would you need that much power? That's quite impressively big. But yeah, this thing just not want to budge. Because this stuff's pretty sharp. Even these uh, power cables. Kind of greasy on that one. I don't know. But uh, that's a... It's, I can't... I just can't... What if I do... What if I... Do something like this and break it? Tough bastard. And this is exhausting. I can't get a good grip. Ugh. Damn. What is that? Um, ABS? Because that's that's just crazy. I'm trying to bend it this way and snap it, but it's just it just not want to fight me. There we go. Damn. You know, like destroying things, I'm gonna kind of fix it. You know, just kind of a challenge to me. But man, sometimes you, just, you don't have a choice. And now I can, can start prying this up. There should be a way to do it. Just peel that up, and then grab the top. Make sure it isn't touching. Um, that's probably. That's actually connected right there, so you're, you're fine. Um, so grab this, tie the can, crunch it, and I guess you can probably, um, yeah, pry it away from the battery. It kind of, it's kind of coming away from the battery a little bit, like that. And just keep. I see something behind there. Yeah, the glue is behind, and spots like I said, two spots on each cell. One side. Ugh. Okay. I broke that piece. Um, boy, this is just insane. It's reinforced right there, too. Keep doing it. Oopsie. That broke that. Bent that back. So, if there's a way to hold that back and just peel it, because it's... It's like right there. It's like right here. So there's a way I can get back there without damaging the cell. Yeah, right there. Yeah, right there. <sighs> Damn. Okay, that's just that's strong. That's some strong plastic. Um. Yeah, it's just it's just dense. I damaged, I damaged the, um, tape a little bit, which is okay, um, yeah, it's just, it's right in the corner, it's probably why it's so hard, you can't twist it, because it's right in the corner, um, there's no way to get behind any more of that either, just, that's all you can get right there, um, and probably break this off and grab more of it. I'll just hold the battery down and just twist. 
it's trying it's it's moving a little bit but man this is just it'd be easier if you had a dremel and cut along this way and just peel it back instead of fighting all these pieces at once but i don't have a dremel well, i do but i don't know where it's at in storage somewhere it's almost in pieces i've used it occasionally but it's just storage you know it's a pain in the ass um let's try this part this back part let's try this way, it's like I can peel the same direction. Well, it kind of worked. Yeah, this is not easy. Okay, it kind of works. I got some exposed. Yeah, just, just you know, gotta peel it back while you're gripping it. So I don't know. You just don't want to damage the cells. Let's look at that. It stayed on there pretty good. It's pretty tight stuff. I have no fingernails, so I don't know how to even get this off if I wanted to. But I mean, you can just about peel it off. I can just grip it. It's just, it's not wanting to stay on. It's designed to be the hardest possible. I, I just I can't grip it without damaging something. That's a problem. I, mean, I don't know what I'm gonna do honestly. Like this is a fault I can get right there. It's just, it just, it won't come out. Um, okay, maybe, maybe, oh, it's, just, it's fighting me. It's really fighting me. Yeah, it's way in the corner. See right there, it's like right, it's like right here. So you can't even get back there. If you have a Dremel, you can cut easily, either half right down the middle or like off to the side where you just just missed it this cell um you can probably cut like right across here like so right there just enough to miss it um or at least cut this in half and if you cut it in half you can probably cut a little kerf out to where you can get the pliers in and then peel that back and then peel that back like that. But I don't know. You can wiggle it, but you can't actually pull on it. It moves, but I, I this is just harder than hell. You don't have the right tools. I'm exhausted. This is absolutely exhausting. Um. Yeah. It's, doesn't smell bad or anything. I'm, cells are moving. I need a jaws of wives is what I need. Honestly, I can almost pull it out. This, my hands are really sweaty. Just I can't grip it. It's either sharp or you can't get your hands in there. Look at that. How you can get your hands in there and that little tiny right there. It's just there's no there's no room. There's just no room. And you see your damaged cells hurt your hand because it's all sharp now. Or you can't get in get it in there in the first place. Just, you can't get your hand in there. There's no other way. None. I don't know what I do with that with that Dremel. I'm all like packed up and stuff, trying to move. Um, I don't know what else to do. I can probably pull this tape out. But there's that tapes some of it out, and there's part of it. I mean, if it if it only connects to the tape, you can probably peel the tape off and get it out. But still, that's just it's so far back there. 
I can probably get a screwdriver in there and just pull it off. I think get a screwdriver at will. That might. This is as far as I can possibly go. It's just, it's so, so difficult. They have the worst possible. If I was right here on the side, I can easily pe peel it off. With this, with this, with the pliers and just pull it right off. But man, it's just, it's not easy. I can't get in there without damaging anything. So there's no way. You can hurt yourself. Man, I, I don't do. Um, I'm trying. I'm trying my best. Like, you know, some of them you just... They'll pop right off. And this is just... It's so... This has to be, like, so much stronger than... Than what they use and... And, uh... uh what they use in the... Uh, uh, oh, God. Uh, what they use in, um, there we go, kind of works, what they use in, uh, that's sharp, um, we call them battery, uh, um, it's all fucked up, yeah, I don't like, uh, that's, that's the part of the, uh, kind of pulled it when he pulled it on there, um, yeah, pull the cell, it's prone to breaking this, so I can't do nothing to do about that, um, Laptop batteries. Here's the cells. The lead. The lead's pretty thin. Doesn't need to be the force. <sighs> Ow. Did do a good job though. So this would be better just to pull it off. Let's pull straight. These are connected, so it doesn't matter if you touch them. Pull straight off. Jammed. Yeah, I just I don't remember what those clippers. I have some clippers and stuff. I just don't remember what tools to add. I just can't get that at all. That's most of it right there. Is it, there's glue, is it glue or some kind of tape they put on there? I don't know. Um, let's try this. It's pried up with the... Focus. What are they using here? These are stuck together. That's what they do. Oh shit! It peeled off. Damn. 